One thing Quasar does really well is making sure that it's easy for us to make our sites responsive. And one example of that is the responsive component. So check this out. If I say Q-responsive, we can give this a ratio. And let's imagine something like a YouTube video, in which case the ratio is 16 to 9. In that case, we can say 16 slash 9. And that means that the ratio of whatever's inside of this component is going to maintain the ratio of 16, 9. I'll show you what I mean. Div class is equal to background dash blue. And there we go. We've got a blue div with a ratio of 16, 9. And as we resize this container, that div is going to resize along with it. So that's pretty much it for the responsive component. But there is one more thing that I want to show you, which is how to use it when you're using Flex as well. Because Flex will actually make column components fill up all of the space, and that messes with QResponsive. I'll show you what I mean. Let's wrap this, Control shift p wrap, inside of a div, and then let's make this div class is equal to full width. All right, so that's still working. The next thing I'm going to do is turn it into a row. And then on this responsive component, I'll say class is equal to col to make it a column inside of that row. So let's save it and everything is fine. But if we copy paste this down, paste that in there, and then I give this one a ratio of one, which is basically the same of saying one slash one. So we'll say one there. And the last thing I'll do is come up here and say q-gutter-medium, so we can see the difference between these two components. Now, notice that this first square that we have, well, it should be a rectangle. It should have a ratio of 16 to 9, whereas the second one has a ratio of 1. And that's because Flex is going to make sure that these columns take up the entire space. All right, so the fact that we have a row here means that we're using Flexbox. You can even just change that to Flex and we'll end up with the same result. And then what's happening is this column is now saying, hey, take up all of the space, which is messing with our Q responsive component. Now, this is actually really easy to fix. We just say items dash start, and there we go. Now we get the different sizes there and the responsiveness is adhered to. So that's just one little caveat that I wanted to point out early on so that you don't run into the same problem. Now, one last thing I'll do is show you how you can use this in a card. So we can grab both of these divs and say Q-card, save it. And then maybe you have, for example, an image inside of this card. So let's come in here. And then we can say Q-image and we'll set the source equal to HTTPS slash slash picksum.photos. And let's get one that's, I don't know, maybe 400 by 200. Save it. And there we go. Now we get an image that just fits in there nicely. And we could come in here and add a q-card-section that has a little bit of text. Lorem. And that's probably too much. Let's just make it that much text. And there we go. Notice that it's actually going to fall out of the card now. And that's because this card is going to strictly adhere to the ratio that we supplied it. So that's another thing to look out for. If you're using cards inside of this component, and basically anything inside of this component, you do need to keep in mind that you make sure that the content is going to fit, resize, and basically sit inside of the container correctly. So what we might do to make sure this fits correctly is setting this to a column, which is basically going to use Flexbox and turn it into a column. And then for the image, we can say class is equal to col, and there we go. Now it's just going to take up whatever space is left over in this case. So there we go. That's Quasar's responsive component. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next. Actually, before I finish up, this is so ugly. Let me just get rid of background blue. There we go. I want to finish on something that looks a bit prettier. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in the next video.